All right. Good day. So I know like movies usually aren't my thing. Um, but movies that I like grew up with and stuff, th there's some cool stuff with this one, especially that, uh, I want to talk about alien Romulus. Um, now this, uh, this is supposed to take place, um, during like in between the first and the second movie. Now, reading some of the article, and they're trying to be kind of like really close to the vest with a lot of this, but you know, it talks about in the article how in Aliens, uh, it's I think it's a cut scene, I think you see a little snippet of it in the theatrical version. But there's a scene where you see some kids riding by the Wailing Utani sign. And, you know, you can see that the place is getting, you know, um, you know, in the middle of being terraformed. And the director was like, what if we took, you know, that, like, those kids, you know, that, that area. And again... They were being pretty uh, close to the vest with a lot of stuff. I'm going to leave you linked up to uh, a Hollywood Reporter article. Um, this looks already, to me, um, the closest to the first and mixing in with that second. I mean, you just see these shots. And I mean, it's like... It, it, it's like they took the original set, you know? I mean, even the way everything is arranged, all of this. I mean, it just, and it really, it's intriguing. And loving the look of it, it looks like the first one with some some bonus because now they can do some even more awesome stuff in the uh, graphics department. And... I, you know, these are just like the now. Look, I always i i i like Prometheus and um, the one that came after that. I I like that whole idea. They was, you know, of I I thought the the engineers were going to be, you know, the the ones that you know. Uh, made the the alien and it was going to go more in that direction um but i do love you know and especially in the director's cuts of those you know some of the you know directions it went um but it didn't really sew anything together it it just it was like okay this happened like how many you know and where you know, this could be so seeing this video, this teaser, you know, released and it be so looking so much like the original. It gives me hope that, you know, and from what we're reading in this in this article, like I guess it'll have it all linked up. Uh check it out. Um this is going to be gory. This is going to be some, some squinting type, like, whoa, like this is, yeah. Um, they're, you know, they're talking in the article about, you know, people, you know, looking at, you know, dailies and stuff or, you know, looking away, like they didn't know, <laughs> you know, but in a, in a good way, um, I am very intrigued. I, I haven't been, you know, um, this excited, especially where they're supposedly connecting these two and, and, uh, um, you know, I, I really look forward to, to, to what's, to what's to come. So if you haven't already heard this new alien trailer out, um, and it's, it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, now, like it, like it says, this is the guy that did the director is the guy that did don't uh, breathe in the, the latest uh, the new newer Evil Dead, um, and it's produced by Ridley, um, and and like I said, it's got all that same lighting and look, 
really. Um, and then some, you know, just from the little bit we're seeing here. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a really cool, uh, look, uh, we've, I, I really think of Prometheus being a really cool part of that universe, but it was never like the connecting tissue that we expected it to be. It had some of it there and it brought us further into that universe, but it seemed like he kind of veered off track a little bit where I think people were looking for more of that. We want things that connect some of these movies together. And, you know, I think, um, you know, the article kind of gives, you know, um, David Fincher, it doesn't really give him a fair shake because he, he kind of got robbed of a, a, what could have been a great movie and he did really good with what he had. And if you have the quadrilogy, quadrilogy, like, like I do, you know, there's two versions of aliens three and they're two completely different movies and the director's cut and the theatrical cut are, yeah, there's a lot of differences. So, um, so yeah, I, um, I really, I think this is like going to be more of that, that, that return to form. It's going to be that connective tissue that everybody's been looking for. So, uh, yeah, really, uh, really excited about, uh, alien Romulus, if you can't tell. And, um, like I said, I'm going to, I'm probably, yeah, I'm definitely going to be going to see this in, uh, in theaters, um, on release date when, when they show it's going to be out, uh, this, well, August 16th, uh, this year. So yeah, alien Romulus. Awesome. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing this. I'm going to, you know, the other ones I wasn't really as, uh, um, I, I did see them in the theaters, but it wasn't like I was, you know, really as excited. You know, I was, you know, um, this is something that really is piquing my interest. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing, um, you know, this. Yeah, this this looks like it's going to be pretty cool just from the teaser alone. So I try not to let it, trailers get me too, too excited. But come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> this looks pretty cool. So I hope everybody out there is having a good day. Like I said, uh, I usually um, I don't do uh, a whole lot of stuff with movies. I like to talk about movies and stuff like that. But um, you know, uh, better people. There's much better channels that break down previews and stuff. Uh, but Alien is something that um, I have been a fan of ever since I was young and I collected all of the VHSs until there was, it was like, it, it felt like I was the reason they made the quadrilogy, quadrilogy, you know, um, because, you know, I did all the, you know, searching of getting these VHSs, you know, and some of them, um, I had to order, which, you know, at the time, you know, was, uh, you know, uh, it was a different time. So, uh, time without the internet so uh and i remember folding that thing out and you know the nine discs that come along with it and all the behind the scenes and all the awesome stuff if you don't have alien quadrilogy and i'm looking forward to seeing what box set they put together because now they're kind of rounding things out and connecting things you know is is the other uh thing with david and the, well the well, the, yeah gonna go one way or is this gonna connect the two somehow uh i i don't know and i'm pretty excited to see so yeah hope everybody out there is having a great day uh look around if you're into finding new music and stuff we got a ton of uh new music to check out uh we find music from all over the musical spectrums and from all over the world so i guarantee you're gonna find some music you didn't even know existed and you never knew you needed in your life um i guarantee you're gonna at the very least you're gonna find some things that you didn't know was humanly possible that people are doing in music so yeah uh definitely uh, have fun. Take a look around. Take the Cliff Notes version and go support these uh, artists. And and tell me what you think about about Alien. Are you as excited as me? I'm pretty excited. Uh, if you can't tell, yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Have a great day out there, everybody. See you in the next one.